Hey there, Bright Eyes. It's me again. Are... are you him? No, I'm not, but I've brought some friends. Say hi to the kids, sweetheart. Um, hi. I don't think she wants to see me. Sure she does. Go on, kid. Tell Ellie how much you want to see her. Um, yeah, sure. Great to meet you. See? I don't believe you. It doesn't matter if you believe me or not. She needs your help. Help? See the dog over there? The Boston Terrier? Good, good. You know your breeds. This Boston Terrier is not feeling too well. I was hoping that you could take a look at him. Uh, yes. Yes, I can. I know a lot about dogs. So we heard. That's why we came to you. But they won't let me help them. They always run away. This one won't. Go on. The dog needs you. So this is your dog, huh? Uh, yeah, sort of. Hi, little guy. What's your name? <laughs> right. Aren't you the cutest little thing? Hmm. Your ears look okay. No signs of inflammation. Now I'm just going to open your mouth. That's... odd. I don't feel any breath. I don't feel anything. I... Oh. I'm sorry. I remember. I'm dead. Yep. I killed myself. I had no choice. Can you tell us what happened? My friends and I, we played a game. A Ouija board. We thought it would be fun. And you called something? Yes. He called himself the Deacon. It's... kinda hazy now. But I remember his voice in my head, screaming. What did he say? I don't know. It didn't make any sense. He just kept asking me to help him. But he wouldn't say how. I tried ignoring him, but he just got louder and louder until I took the pills and- Shh. It's over now. I know. So what now? Now? Now, we're going to send you where you need to go. Here. Take this. And hold on tight. You ready? I guess so. Good. Now pull. Yeah, you and me both. Ow. Hello? Yeah, hi! I'm not sure if we've met. I'm Rosa. I know! You brought the dog to me! You brought me back to my senses. And then you brought me here. Thanks so much! Sure. No problem. So, are you ready to... Well, you know. Am I ready to die? Well, yeah. Sorry. I'm kinda new at this. That's okay. I'm gonna make it easy for you. Just tell me what to do. Just head towards that light. The light. Right. Click every cliche in the book. You think I'll see Joanna over there? Sure you will. Fantastic. And hey, you'll make sure Susan's okay, right? Sure. Well, here goes. See ya. See ya. Ugh. You're awake. That didn't take too long. She just... went. She seemed happy about it. Yeah, sometimes you'll get easy ones. The ones who are all too happy to move on. Others... well, you'll see. Anyway, let's get this dog back before your neighbor calls the police. Our work is not over yet. She is so gonna kill me. Just a minute! 
Oh, oh, there you are. I was just about to go to bed. I'm sorry we took so long. Not to worry. Did you have fun, Moti? Did you have fun? <coughs> of course. Well, good night, Rosa. Thanks again for helping me out. Strange lady. Please be advised that visiting hours are now over. Oh well. Looks like we have to wait until tomorrow. No can do, toots. Remember what she said? The deacon comes to her at night when she's sleeping. Waiting until tomorrow won't do us any good. What? You think we can just waltz right into Susan's room? Sure. How? Improvise, sweetheart. That's what this gig is all about. Fuse box key, huh? I could probably do something with this. Now you've done it. You better find a place to hide quick. Whoa, you startled me. You'd better leave, miss. I can't be held liable for your safety until the lights are repaired. I'll get the elevator for you. You better find a place to She's asleep. Yeah, like a baby. It won't be long. Before what? Before that. Please. Please. Can't you help me? Please. I don't know what to do. I don't want to burn. Please. The others are gone. You're the only one. Please. You can't hear me here, but you can hear me in your dreams. Please! Wake up and help me! It's out there, watching, waiting. Susan, Susan, you called me. You can help me. Hey! Ignore them, Susan. Listen to me. Help me. Please. I'm talking to you, clown shoes. You're... You're talking to me? Yeah, so can you calm down long enough to tell me what's going on? I... I can't. You're like me. What do you mean? Dead. Like me. Wait a minute. Just... God damn minute. You know you're dead? Yes. Well, that certainly saves time. We can help you. Here, grab a hold of this. No. no. Get that Get away, away from, from me. me. What the hell is wrong with you? You need saving. We're here to save you. What's the problem? I can't. What are you so scared of? You're stuck, right? We can help you move on. No. I don't, I don't want, want to. to. You don't. Want to? No, oh, I... I'm afraid. Oh, you're afraid, are you?
You believe this guy? All right, Mac. Spill. You've scared these girls literally to death, and I want to know why. What are you so afraid of? I... I don't want to burn! Burn? Oh, oh, I get it. You think you're going to hell. The devil himself. He told me. Please don't make me go. You're scared of the devil, huh? Yes! Yeah, well, I don't see any devil. There's just you and me. And you know what? I'm worse than any devil you'll ever see. Hey! I've been doing this for 40 years, bucko. Every ghost I meet goes to their final rest one way or the other. You're scared? I don't give a rat's ass. Two people are dead because of you. So take the damn tie and let's get this over with. No! You can't make me! Don't make me burn, please! <laughs> Hurts, don't it? How? Ghosts aren't supposed to feel pain, but I've learned some tricks. Now take the damn tie! Joey, stop it! You want to handle this? Go right ahead. Let's see you do any better. I know a safe place. You can hide there. Really? Where is it? Not far, but you'll have to trust us. Trust you? Why should I trust you? Because we don't want you to cause any more deaths. They weren't my fault. They just wouldn't listen to me. Why don't they want to help me? Nobody wants to help me. You're a liar. All right, your way isn't working. So, are we gonna do this the easy way? Or the hard way? Please. No. What are you gonna do to me? Please, Please don't, don't make, make it get, get me. me! I don't, don't want to go to hell! <laughs> hell schmell. You want to stop talking crap? Hey, stop! Let me talk to him, okay? Kids, stay out of this. This is between me and the spook. I don't believe in hell, buddy. But you have two choices. The slight possibility of an eternal torture in hell or the dead certainty of an eternal torture by me. But... you can't! Sure I can. You gonna stop me? Make your choice. I... Wrong answer. You're hurting him, Joey. Yeah, that's the idea. You got any better ones? Let me talk to him. Kids, stay out of this. This is between me and the spook. Well? Fine. Just, Just stop, stop hurting, hurting me, please. Good boy. Take the tie. Joey, this... This what? It got the job done, didn't it? Now yank this loser out of here so we can go home. Fine. Good riddance. I don't want to do this. Please, send me back. I don't think that's possible. He forced me here. I... It's... At last, I have found you. No! I told you! There's no escape! What is that? Oh, crap. Joey? Joey? Get me out of here! Stay away. Stay away! There is nowhere to go. You cannot return to the mortal world. 
You can only go through me. Accept the punishments for your sins and come with me. Help me, please. You brought me here. You have to save me. You have to. Fool, no one can save you now. I'll give you a moment to prepare for the eternity to come, but then you are mine. This is not happening. Please, you've got to do something. Excuse me? Converse with me not. I shall give him time to prepare himself for the eternity to come. But then, he is mine. Why are you after this man? For his sins. All this time, he has not renounced them. Even after these many years of death, he still carries them with him. How did you get here? What is here? It is but an abstract concept to one such as I. I move at the power of thought, at the speed of death. Once my business is concluded, I shall trouble you no more. Can't you just let him go? He has killed many with his madness. His sins weigh him down even as we speak. Ask yourself, does he deserve mercy? Yes? You may think so, but your heart does not believe it. You have witnessed the results of his actions with your own eyes. What is that thing? I... don't know! It haunted my dreams when I was alive, and wouldn't leave me alone after death. And now... There's no place left to run. What is that in your pocket? My flask. Yeah, what's in it? Nothing. It's just a force of habit, I guess. Used to keep whiskey in it when I was alive. So what can I do? What does he want? He wants me. I don't know why. What is that in your pocket? My flask. Yeah, what's in it? Nothing. It's just a force of habit, I guess. Used to keep whiskey in it when I was alive. The deacon is carrying his sins, and the deacon is carrying his flask. Could this be symbolic? Please, help! Get rid of that flask! Huh? Your flask! Get rid of it! My flask? Why? Just do it! But, but I can't. Why not? Because it, it's my flask. You want to be free of that demon? Trust me. Well, oh, okay. You no longer carry your sins with you, dead one. But they still taint this place. That is not enough to save you. What is that in your pocket? My flask. Yeah. Nothing. It's just a... Used to There's nothing really special about it, except that it belonged to a ghost. It's kind of vibrating. It 
It is done. The sins have been abolished from this place. And my claim on you, dead one, is gone. Move on in peace and be troubled no more. He's gone? I think so. He's gone. I'm, I'm free of him. I'm really free. All this time, it's all so clear to me now. Like my head was full of cobwebs and now they're gone. I... All those people who died, they killed themselves because of me. It's all right. No, it's not all right. I didn't know what I was doing, but that doesn't excuse it. I spent most of my life as a drunk, and most of my death as a murderer. I was worried about going to hell before. Maybe I'm okay with that now, now that I know I might deserve it. Maybe you can still redeem yourself. Maybe, eventually, but not right now. You see, I was a religious man once, before disease took my wife away and I took to the bottle. If I'm going to hell, well then maybe I can still spread the word of God there. Do some good for once. Well, this is it. Goodbye, and thanks. Goodbye. Jesus Christ, kid, you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. What took you so long? It got... a little complicated. Well, I'm just glad you're okay. Let's get out of here. I need some air. I know the perfect place. He's at peace now, I guess. Wherever he is. I saved him, I think. Gave him some hope, at least. He's getting no more than he deserves. No more than any of us deserve. I guess. Did you have to hit him? It was the only way, darling. I didn't see you coming up with any bright ideas. Sometimes the best idea is a punch in the gut. Joey? Yeah? Why did Auntie stop? Stop what? Stop... doing this. This... ghost saving. Or whatever it is we do. Oh. Ah. It was you. Me? She wanted to take care of you. Wanted to do it right, she said. Stop listening to me. Stop saving the ghosts. Just put all her effort into taking care of you. And then she... fell into that weird coma. Yeah. I see. I guess there's a lesson in that. Is there? Yeah.
There's hundreds of confused spirits out there, sweetheart. And there's nobody else who can help him. There's just us. Bestowing eternity on every sob story out there. One lost soul at a time. Whether we want to or not.